welcome to Rowdy's Weekly. I'm your host, Heather Donnelly. Joining me today is midfielder Khalif Al Hassan. Thanks for stopping by Rowdy's Hi. Weekly. <laughs> Khalif, you got the assist on Tom Heineman's goal at the Cosmos. It was a great play. Take me through it from your perspective. Well, as uh, Neil cleared the ball, I saw Tommy showing up. So I have to go underneath him. Uh, that's what we've been working on throughout the week. And as I get the ball, uh, Mendes tried to foul me, but I stood uh, strong and uh, I saw Tommy making a run and uh, I gave him a true ball and he finished it up. That's a good play. Earlier this season, you were playing on the left wing and recently Stewart switched you to be more of an attacking mid. What do you like about that change and how did that positively affect your performance on Saturday? I would say uh, our coaching staff uh, know the best and uh, they know what the team needs uh, at that point. So me going in the middle, I think, uh, Helps the, team that, uh, helps the team a lot because I can hold the ball and uh, find places. You guys went up early in that game and then New York came back. You ended up losing 2-1. to one. How is the team responding to that tough result? I would say uh, to me, we had a goal which was disallowed and everybody saw it's not an uh, offside. So we taking that uh, as an advantage uh, going to Minnesota for the weekend uh, try to win. Yeah, you have three games left in this spring season. How important is it to get positive results in those three games just to finish off the spring strong? We're going to take it game after game. Uh, coming Saturday, we got Minnesota. We're just going to go there, get a job done, and then we'll focus on our next week. All right, thanks, Khalif. Thank you. And now I'm joined by head coach Stuart Campbell. Coach, you had a good performance in New York, going up early, but then some unlucky breaks led to a tough result there, losing to the Cosmos. What are your thoughts on that match? Yeah, I think it was a pretty decent performance for probably 80 minutes out of the 90. We had a 10 minute spell where we, we dropped off the Cosmos, something we spoke about, how we couldn't afford to do that because they've got, they've got quality and in that, that 10 minute spell they, they, they hurt us. From what you've seen out of the team this week in training, how are they responding to the loss? Yeah, obviously it was a, no loss is good, but this one was even tougher, not just against the Cosmos, but the, the man of the defeat. Obviously, we, we, we felt and we know now that we had a legitimate goal rolled out for offside, so that always makes it harder to swallow. But no, they've come in, as I said, we had a, a good chat. We don't want any more hard luck stories. We've had a couple of them in the past couple of weeks where decisions have been quite gone for us. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to work our way through it and go to Minnesota confident of getting a positive result. Yeah, you play Minnesota on Saturday and then on Wednesday the Rowdies enter U.S. Open Cup play. So you'll have three games in eight days. How does that change things heading into this upcoming stretch of matches? Yeah, it does change things obviously with the, the travel, the, the level of the games, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, pretty much uh, we'll be looking to use everybody in the squad. Some of the players that haven't had the opportunity to play or be on the bench within the, the next three games, everybody will be used. So everybody has to be ready uh, to come in and, and do a job. Minnesota United has been pretty good this year, especially at home. How do you plan to disrupt them on their home field? Yeah, you're right. They're, they're a good team. They've had a good settled uh, playing staff for the past or two or three years. For that, that's one of the, the main reasons why I think they're, they've been so successful. So yeah, we're, we're going to go there. We're going to try and impose our game, uh, continue to work hard, continue to play the way we have been, uh, create the chances, and, and hopefully go and get some goals. All right. Thanks for stopping by Rowdy's Weekly, Stuart. Thank you. Be sure to tune in this weekend as the Rowdies take on Minnesota United Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. That game will stream live on ESPN3. Another big thanks to Khalif Al-Hassan and Stuart Campbell for stopping by Rowdies Weekly. And thank you for watching. See you next time.